Welcome back, everyone. I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Magical Diary. Um, a good part about having a game that has literally no animations, or very little of it, it doesn't take up very much space when you uh, record it with fraps. So 30 minutes was only about three files, which is pretty amazing. Actually, it was probably about two, but one of them was, uh... Well, whatever. Anyway, so we're at the end of the week. I've already, we've already reviewed. I have one spell right now, which is not just Breeze. It doesn't seem to be of any use, and I've already reviewed the diary from before, so let's go ahead and continue. Once again, we are all called to the, the gymnasium first thing Monday morning, only this time there are even more people here. Is this a meeting of, of the whole school? What for? I asked Virginia if she knew what this was about, but she just grinned and said she couldn't tell me. Someone steps up to the podium, but it's not a teacher. Good morning, everyone. My name is William uh, Danson, and I am your incoming senior class president. Oh, yeah, something about the artwork in this game. It can be very difficult. Since they use all the same uh, batch of hairstyles, it can be very difficult sometimes to tell if, there's, if a person is a male or a female. Um, in this case, um, the way you can tell if they're uh, male usually is by this little ca half cape they got here. If it's uh, if it only covers a shoulder, it's pr they are probably male. You can also probably guess because his name is Willie. <clears throat> Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> Just choked on something. <laughs> anyway, this half cape means um, that the person is male, and of, of course you can probably tell because his name's William. So let's go ahead and continue. Uh, I've already said this, but for the next week, next week half of you will be calling me Sir William. Welcome to a freshman initiation, a magical initiation ritual. Before we start, I am required to give you some safety information. Nothing that happens this week should cause you physical harm. If you are ordered to do something dangerous or that you know is wrong, please go to a teacher immediately. Looks like we're about to be hazed. Now, all you freshmen, listen, please line up. One at a time, come up on stage, announce your name and where you, are, uh, where you, where you come from, and receive one of these initiation handbooks. Okay. Students dutif dutifully uh, shuffle along, announcing themselves one by one. Some of them I've already met. S some names are new. Suki Sato, Jamal Mir, Pastel Rao, Luke, and Logan Pfeiffer. Then it's my turn. After I state my name, William hands me a staple together pa uh, paper booklet. Inside are a bunch of rules and a list of all, of all the members of the senior class, complete with black and white pictures and full names. According to this, we're required to memorize the names of all of the seniors, and throughout the week we have to address them as sir or lady whatever. And there's more, we have to memorize a silly poem and recite it on command. We must never show our backs to, the, to a senior. We must never be taller than a senior. We must always respond to requests with... Wait, William's at the podium again? Now, as well as serving and honoring the entire uh, senior class, each one of you will become the property of one particular senior. Your senior is your master, your best friend, your worst nightmare, and your only protection from the rest of us. Stand and wait, and we will choose. Ugh, jeez, private schools. He steps away from the podium while we freshmen look at each other nervously. The seniors start to move around the room, poking and prodding, calling out orders. You're taller than me, freshman. Get down on the ground. Don't turn away from me, freshman. I see your back. How and I end up kneeling back to back and watching as the sharks circle. You. I look up and see a strange boy standing over me. Very strange. Even, pas even Pastel, the girl of fairy wings, looked mostly human. According to the list of seniors, his name is Damien Ramsey. But what is he? Amelia Scar, like, I think you should be mine. Um, okay. <laughs> like how that was very nonchalant. Uh, stand up. But then I might be taller. It's alright, you're with me. You don't have to worry about the rules if I'm with you, only when what I say matters. Here, take my hand. I'll help you up. Eh, I'll get up by myself. I don't need help. Uh, I don't need help. I climb to my feet and brush my knees. So what should we... I said take my hand. What? Down on the ground, freshman. He raises his hand angrily. My knees buckle almost on in instinct. There's a good girl. I guess I should have taken his hand. You've got to understand, Romilly. There are rules to this game. You have to follow them, and so do I. 
I don't want to get you in trouble. So just do what I say, all right? No. <laughs> what did you say? I'm not playing along. I stand up again, fold my arms over my chest, and glare at him. This isn't funny. This is hazing. This is a, an initiation ceremony. I won't do it. It's wrong. William said if someone asks you to do something that's wrong, get a teacher. This whole thing is wrong, so I'm leaving. Something tells me I'm about to get screwed. I stomp through the hallways until I find... Amelia, is something wrong? I'm not taking part in freshman in initiation. Did someone harm you? Not really, it's just the whole idea. I see. Well then, you won't take part. It's that simple? Of course, you always have the right to say no, and I'm proud to see a young student standing up for her beliefs. Of course, the other children will not all agree with your choices. Some people who might have been your friends will now avoid you. Okay. So it's in our in sort of role-playing fashion, it's explaining how your choices will affect things. So I've, we got weirdness because we did something that's not um, goes against the norm. I guess you can say every choice has its cost. Maybe so, but maybe, uh, but maybe some other people will have seen me stand up for myself and be inspired to do the same. You best get on with your classes now, dear. Right. What classes should I take this week? Well, we've been making progress with uh, the fire magic stuff, so we'll see about doing some of that. Hmm. Oh, and since we've done these classes, we know who the uh, teachers are for them. Grabner and uh, Potsdam. I want to go ahead and do that for right now, and yeah, we'll make this a magic uh, magic week. Since we don't build too much stress too quickly, I uh, gained one magic and one stress. Afternoon dorm room. When my roommates return from their class uh, classes, neither one of uh, them wants to look me in the eye. Wonderful. What is there something on my face? Other than your nose? I can't believe you just walked out like that. Well, I did, so what? William well, worked hard to organize this week, you know. So what? It, I wasn't going to let Damien treat me like that. Wait, your senior was Damien? Huh? Right, Damien, the blue guy. Ha, huh, okay, I completely forgive you for messing up uh, <laughs> William's thing. Why is that? Because Damien's a hor horrible, evil demon and he deserves to be humili humiliated. He'll probably never speak to you again, and good riddance. Too bad uh, you have to miss out on the rest of the initiation just because of that jerk, though. If you say so. My senior is, uh, Balthasar... Sorry? Balthasar Brundick... Uh, Blen uh, Brundrick. Wow, that's a difficult name for some reason. He likes plants. He really likes plants. I think he's got moss growing on him. Mine is William. Um, that's nice. Anyway, we may be busy a lot this week. But since you won't be, uh, you'll have plenty of time to get, get ahead in classes. Maybe. Yay, more magic. Uh, we now know push objects. Shove a target one square in the direction indicated by the caster. Of course, right now we have no squares to even... We don't even have a, a grid to go off of. All of a sudden, in the middle of class, a boy stands up and... Uh, stands up, climbs onto his chair, and begins to speak. Twas Brillig and the Slilith Toves did jeer and gimble in the wood. Mr. F uh, Pfeiffer? All Mimsy were the Barogoves and the Malmbraths outgrub. I think he's reciting the stupid poem. Mr. F uh, Pfeiffer, that will be enough. Thank you. You've fulfilled your task. Here, let, uh, let me help you down. Look, look, uh, looks confused and t takes the professor's hand to hop to the ground and sit back in the seat. My dear starlings, seniors uh, do not overwrite uh, professors, and initiation does not override uh, school rules. If someone orders you to do something in class, ignore them. This excuse of initiation will not get you uh, out of being punished. So I get detention now? Oh no, I love that poem. You'll j just have to uh, finish reciting it for me after class. Success. I got some black magic and some stress. Alright, one ma black magic, one stress, and we get inspection. Detects weak points and hidden details within one target object. That might actually be useful for dungeons, but I don't know. 
It's not until after I wake up on Friday morning that I realize something. Something's very, uh, something very important, which should have occurred to me before now. Virginia, pss, Virginia, wake up. What? It's Friday the 13th. So, um, are there any special rituals we need to do or not to do to perfect us from bat magical bad luck? Oh. Uh, no, Friday the 13th is good luck when, uh, when you're a witch. Oh? So it's a good omen that our initiation finishes today. Now let me finish sleeping. She pulls the covers over her head. Well, at least I got two magic out of that. Hello, is anybody there? Seems like the campus is half empty this afternoon. All the seniors are gone, and all the freshmen are gone, all except for me. I don't even know what I've, I'm missing. Is something horrible happening that I should have uh, tried to stop, or are they all having fun without me? Oh well, at least I have the room to myself. Damn right I have the room to myself. Since there's nobody around to bother me, I can be as loud and as silly as I want and not have to worry about being interrupted. That makes studying much less stressful. Oh cool, I get some smarts for that. I get it, I get smarts for being an outcast. On Saturday morning, I wake up to find envelopes under the door again, our allowance, and one extra. My parents finally wrote to me. I open the envelope, intending to skim through it quickly, but it turns out there's not much to skim through. They send their love and hope that I'm having fun at boarding school. That's it. No mention of what they've been doing, no questions about any friends I've made, not even any questions about magic. How can they not ask about magic? Before I got here, I had no, no idea what was possible. There was only that brief moment of magic back when I was 13, before the officials came to turn off the power and give me the choice. For three years, I've had to wait and wonder. And now I'm finally starting to discover this entire world of possibilities, and they don't even ask? Maybe they don't want to bother me in case I'm busy, or they figure I'll tell them that I, what I want to tell them, and I still haven't written. I'm so bad. Well, I will write them a letter tomorrow, really. But for today, I have to decide whether or not to go out. Let's go to the mall. Since we're by ourselves. Students are lining up outside the school, waiting for a free seat in one of the shuttle vans that travel between here and the local shopping center. Come on, we can ride together. Wait a minute. What is it? We're still in uniform. So? Won't people stare at us because we're all wearing capes? Nah. Just act natural, it's no big deal. But it's nowhere near Halloween. Then again, well, this, um, in the, the mall that I live nearby, uh, there's always people that are, like, dressed up and as Naruto characters, so I guess it's not too shocking. Anyway, back on task. Since the teachers aren't saying anything, I suppose this is what we're supposed to do. The mall's not very large or very crowded, at least where I'm standing, which is in Wizards usually outnumber shoppers in ordinary clothes, but no one reacts to the sight. I guess if students come here all the time, they get used to it. Okay, that place does coffee and pastries, they have fresh fruit, that one does baked potatoes, there's a gift shop, there's the cafe. Are all these stores magical? No, there's only one magic shop here, they sell wands and stuff. I'm gonna go get a cr chocolate croissant, what about you? I'm gonna go to the magic store. With Virginia's vague directions in mind, I set out uh, in search of the magic store. This branch of the mall looks like a dead end. There's only one shop, uh, one shop front, and it's blacked out with a coming soon sign on the door. But as I get closer, a patch of wall blurs and, sh uh, and shimmers to reveal a second door marked with a star. Marvelous magical uh, accoutrements. All right, and we can get stuff here. Adding an air of sophistication, as well as making it, e making it easier to read the fine print of old and faded magical tomes, gives you plus five smart and costs uh, ten bucks. No. Wand. This polished bit of uh, whoa, hello. Uh, does this polished bit of wood has been charged with all the colors of magic? Does plus two to all magic? No. Fairy wings. These sparkly see-through wings attached to a robe and look as, mo uh, as almost as good as the real thing, but will not allow you to fly. Uh, plus 10 cute. Bat wings, I'm guessing it's weird. Yeah, it's plus 10 weird. Uh, mysterious wings can be clipped on the back. Not real, will not allow you to fly, blah. Alright. No. A wriggle wand. Okay, I see, it's just very different, uh... 
tentacle on for some reason. Anyway, um, we also got things like the amulets. Wow, plus 30 black magic. No. Plus 5 strength, plus 30 mad magic. Let's read that again. Good for combat magic, special fabric keeps your hands from safe from fire or acid, while elbow pads can double as sports gear. It has good stats, I just don't want to know if I really want to wear it. Um, charmed ears and a tail will not make you into an actual wear creature, but they can help you to express your animal nature. Alright, so a lot of these are just like increasing magic or your cute weird, sometimes your as well as your other stats. But the only thing I can afford right now is glasses, and I really don't want them, so I'm not done. I finished my shopping and, and joined my friends, to uh, fellow students, to return to Iris Academy. After breakfast, I sit down to figure out what to write up to my parents. I could tell them about the strange professors uh, here, but I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. I can tell them about initiation, I suppose. I'm sure they'll be proud of me for refusing to take part in a bully ritual. Bully, bullying ritual. I guess I should tell them about my bedroom and the food here, things like that, so that they, that they don't worry about me. They'll want to know that I get enough sleep and I remember to brush my teeth. In my roommates, I should write uh, about them. We've been so busy, we don't know each other all that well yet. But they're both good people. As for magic, well, I've learned a few things, but I haven't really done proper magic yet. Just classroom exercises, so I'll wait a while before I tell them much about that. Mail doesn't go out on Sundays, so I fold my letter up and stick it in an envelope, but I don't seal it yet. I can get a stamp from the camp on-campus post office tomorrow. Alright, so let's go through our spellbook. As you can see, we ha we know push object and inspection now. Um, so we're getting there. This is only... And, yeah, that's about it. There's not much else to say about it. I don't know the specific requirements for each of the spells, but we'll gradually learn as we go. Um, diary. Escaping initiation. New students are supposed to go through initiation process, being slaves to seniors while they get yelled at and, and pushed around. I don't want to do it, so I walked out. Demon Banished, uh, was it? Virginia was annoyed about me walking out of initiation because her brother is in charge of it, but when she found out D D Damien was my senior, she thought it was funny. Apparently she doesn't like him much. She says after I embarrassed him in public like that, I'll probably never hear from him again. And alone. All the freshmen and seniors are off doing something, something to do with initiation, but I don't know what. And then of course the letter's home. And... But yeah. So... I don't know if what she said was true, but it's quite possible we'll never really have to talk to that NPC again. But, we'll go ahead and s save the game. Okay. I suppose you can do a lot of saves coming in this, but um, I don't think that's really how the game's supposed to be played. It's kind of like a... I don't really know how, how I would consider this game. It's different. So, and once again I apologize for any mispronunciation. I'm... I tend to not have, I tend to have some iffy speech problems with my voice sometimes, so when reading and all that junk. But I'm trying to get better. This game hopefully will help me with that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a uh, part. I'll do it by weeks, I guess. So until next time, everyone. I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and uh, this was Magical Diary. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys found it interesting. I won't say if you guys enjoyed it, uh, <laughs> at least not yet. Um, so until next time, everyone. See you guys.